Welcome to this week's episode of Biz Success in 15, where top experts share hot tips and strategies that you can implement in as little as 15 minutes to build your dream business. And now here's your host, the visibility whiz, Cindy J. Hi, I'm Cindy J, the Visibility Wiz, and welcome to this episode of Biz Success in 15, where top experts share hot tips and strategies that you can implement in 15 minutes or less. Today, our guest is Christine Till, and she is known as the Marketing Mentress, and that's for a reason. She is on a mission to help businesses all over the world become empowered to build their strategic online presence and to make money with LinkedIn. She is the founder of Relationship Marketing through the gift of podcast. And she's the author of Fired at 50, Stop Looking for Work and Discover What You Were Meant to Do, and co-author of four other books, her latest being Mentoring Woman Leaders and Mentoring Woman Leaders Too. Christine is here today to shake up the way you think about using LinkedIn for your business and inspire you to make more money. A welcome, Christine. It's a pleasure to have you. Oh, it's an honor to be with you and to have a chance to chat with you and, and your network and see if I can help you with some tips. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're here for, I think, <laughs> yes. And to begin with, Christine, can you share a personal or business challenge that you had to overcome in order to obtain your level of success? I sure can, and I, I've, uh, as I've been speaking to different groups, I've run into more people who are like me, so I'm really appreciative of this opportunity. Um, back in 2009, I was literally dragged into the 21st century kicking and screaming, that's what I call it. <laughs> because I was not on LinkedIn, I was not on Facebook, I was not on Twitter, or any of that kind of stuff. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I was just, I could barely navigate email. And I had my, I was working for a senior care organization in sales and marketing. And my boss took me with him along with a cohort to a big major conference in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. And they told us there that they'd been doing research for this franchise organization for senior care. And in their research, they discovered that 73% of the time seniors make decisions. The kids are involved, and it's usually the gals. But uh, So I'm thinking, okay, where are the gals at 10 o'clock in the morning when my boss wants me to do a presentation at a senior center? Right. They're at work, right? And they're sandwiched in between their aging parents and their careers and their families. Mm -hmm. So they're feeling huge stress. But what are they doing online? They're getting online at night uh, in tears, trying to find some way to solve their stress, to ease their pain. And so I said, and they told us in this conference, we needed to be marketing online. We needed to be on social media. And, and I'm sitting there going, oh, my gosh. I'm going to learn all this stuff. Oh. So I'm talking to my boss, and he says, well, I, I refused to pay for any online marketing, so I took it upon myself to figure out how I could do this. So I'm lucky and very blessed. I have two sons who are computer techs. They're programmers, um, engineers, and they've been in the software engineer, uh, engineering uh, business for years. So my oldest son, Michael, he has worked for nine years at Microsoft, and now he's a lead programmer at Amazon. I said, well, Michael, what can I do? And she, he said, well, Mom, you need to have a podcast show. I said, no, what's that? I have no idea. Right. And he said, you need to use LinkedIn. I go, what's that? <laughs> so he helped me get basically set up with, with LinkedIn. But before he did that, I said, whoa, 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 put on the brakes. I got I to gotta know what I'm getting into. So I read the entire terms of use for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Took me a week, but I got it done. <laughs> and the I, big question is, how much of it did you understand? <laughs> uh, well, it, you know what? It's amazing once you start reading that technical jargon, mm -hmm. how much you do absorb and you and you remember. And uh, so, since then, LinkedIn and I have a good relationship, and I can advise my my clients now as to how 
to set up a proper profile and what's what because I know the guidelines for LinkedIn I know what their terms of use says and and if you don't obey their terms of use eventually you will get sent to LinkedIn jail Mm -hmm. in other words get your account frozen right so my boss refused to pay for me so to do any to spend any time so I was doing four to seven podcast interviews a week I had hook connected with my son's help I had connected Mm -hmm. everything up to my pod blog site and which is on my pod bean website and uh, and he taught me the basics of how to use LinkedIn I'm gonna tell you a little secret I know more about LinkedIn now than he does Uh, (laughs) (laughs) and I'm 69 I'm going oh whoa so anyway um, I, I kept on working on this and interviewing people that had products and services for seniors. But the very first post I published on my website, because it was connected to all my social media, Mm -hmm. it went out and within 45 minutes, I had a response from a gal on Facebook that said, oh my gosh, I had no idea something like this was available to help me with my 95 year old dad. And I went, oh, this works, this really works. And I ran to my boss, I says, look, 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 this works, and he says, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still not going to pay for any online marketing. And I went. Mm -hmm. So for the rest of the time I worked there, we had this sort of seesaw, Marjorie Daw, sort of, you know, this, uh, you know, we need to do more marketing online. No, I'm not going to pay for marketing online. And so, well, then can I do evening presentations and weekend presentations? Sure, but you do it on your own time. I won't let you juggle hours. It was just that whole thing. He was so locked into nine to five Mm -hmm. going around glad handing meeting people and I did said I did two uh, senior scares on my own time and it was it, 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 I broke about burnt myself out okay, move forward a little bit to yeah. time sakes here too and I know that you'd mentioned like with the profiles and you know I commend you for doing all that on your own time and I'm sure that sort of prepared you for whenever you got fired at 50 because right. you said this happened in 2009 and I know in 2011 you got fired. Yeah. So I would assume it was from that job, but had it not been for all of this work you had done while you were working, you probably would have been a little bit more lost. Yes. And the reason I go into so much detail about how I got involved with social media is because I'm finding that most of my clients are 40 plus right they and they have they they're just trying to get their mind around the 21st century thinking with online marketing and so once I learned this I was inspired to help other people be able to do it too after I was fired at 50 and um, so January the 4th of 2011 I walked into my office for, to start the new year with my business plan in hand for the day, marketing plan in hand for the year, I should say. And my boss invited me into the conference room immediately. And while he's telling me that I was the hardest working person he'd ever had, and blah, 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 I'm sitting here thinking, <clears throat> well, I increased your sales to the tune of 22000 a month the first six months I was with you. Mm -hmm. I'm the seventh salesperson that you've had for your organization and you've only been in business what eight nine years right what does that say about you as a business person if you are not your own best salesman for your company you can't train anybody else properly exactly and a lot of business owners don't understand that so big tip there once you sign your name on that dotted line (laughs) I love it your own best salesman (laughs) And uh, move on, talk about LinkedIn a little bit, uh, because I think LinkedIn is probably, you know, all of the social media platforms are different and unique, but sometimes I think LinkedIn is is one of the most misunderstood as far as especially how to utilize it uh, for your business. One of the things that confuses me even personally about LinkedIn is I know in your profile at the very bottom, there's a place for you to like put a free gift or to post a video and stuff, but it doesn't appear to link anywhere. So is it still wise to use these? And if so, how can you really share the link to your products and services if you're utilizing uh, your products and services part of the profile? Very good question. Um, So I'm going to share my screen now, if you don't mind. All right. 
and uh, share. I'm going to share, and I'm going to go to my LinkedIn. And the profile. <laughs> great, yeah, me. great background picture. So you have three seconds, three seconds to make a great first impression on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yes. Okay, people are very visual. And so they look at your uh, at, they look at your uh, your background picture, if that's been changed and, and updated. If, if you've got a headshot that looks like you, <laughs> mm -hmm. that is, you know, within the last two years, I usually change mine every year. And the, the, you have, to your question where you can add all these videos and things, you can add them to your summary. Right. If, you, if you go into your summary and down at the bottom, you can add uh, links and, and videos and whatnot as you're, when you do your editing. And that is a really good place to put other photographs. So, for instance, if you have, um, if you're a coach, and you've had different speaking engagements, and you've had videos taken while you've been speaking, you can attach them down there to the bottom of your summary. If you have, if you're a bodybuilder or a, a health and wellness fitness coach, and you've got a picture of you in that. Uh, competition posing in the bikini, you don't put that in your headshot, please. Right. <laughs> you, <throw bubbles. laughs> uh, you put it down in your bottom of your summary here. Mm -hmm. you add it in there. And your, your link to your website, your website needs to have all of your current offerings that you have for your, for, for your products and services. So it needs to go in here in your contact information. So your contact information should show your LinkedIn professional URL. So many people don't realize that you need to personalize this URL for your LinkedIn. And if you don't, it, you lose credibility. So anybody who knows what they're doing on LinkedIn at all knows that you personalize this URL and you put your websites there that you've got and put a phone number there so people can phone you and your email that they can contact you on put your Twitter handle up there LinkedIn offers for you to, to connect that up do you know Twitter is a really good place to be if you want to connect with men 43% of my connections on Twitter or followers on Twitter are men Businessmen. Okay. It's kind of like the businessmen's coffee room chatter. Ah, so they're at the good. coffee. Yeah. So that's uh -huh. really important to to utilize. So, so shall I just go ahead and proceed through some of the steps that people need to observe in order to be able to make your profile the best it can be, and then quickly go into some ways, some secrets of the of the, the LinkedIn platform. Um, yeah, because I know I and also I was very curious and I know a lot of the listeners are probably curious about writing articles and writing posts. What's the difference and should they be using them? So um, and okay. groups. So as long as we can touch on those, I have absolutely no problem. So if you go to your home page here and click, you can either write an article or you can share a post. This mm -hmm. is where you share a post. And this is a one-time place if you share it here. But if you write an article, it stays on your profile forever. Oh. So if I go to my profile again and I scroll down to the articles that I've written, they have great analytics. They tell you how many views you've had of your profile in the last mm -hmm. 90 days, past views, search appearances. But they, they have all of your articles, and you can click on all of your articles. So, now, do articles have to be unique content, or can you just uh, use one of the articles you have on your website and post it on uh, oh, yeah. LinkedIn? Yes, you can. You can use any. It, so quite often, uh, most of the time I post my articles on LinkedIn, and I'm afraid my blog doesn't get added to as often as my LinkedIn because I'm on LinkedIn more than anything but on my website my blog on my website 
So every once in a while, I'll go in there and say, oh, gee, I need to post all these blogs that I've written on my website. But if you mm -hmm. go to my, my LinkedIn page, you click on see all articles. And then LinkedIn will show all the articles and anybody can look at that. So this one, I personally purposely cut off the top of my head mm -hmm. because it's about are you smiling, right? So I wanted the smile to stand out. And, you know, never judge a book by its cover. Find pictures that are appropriate to whatever articles you're publishing or on, on LinkedIn. And this one is... Wonder why you aren't seeing the posts from some of your connections. <laughs> and you can find really great free pictures on there for all of your posts. But I just subscribe to Dreams Time and I can go on there and I can just get a picture, a snap of a finger, and I don't have to spend a bunch of time scrolling through a bunch of free platforms right. to find the right picture. I haven't got time. I just don't have time to do that. So I just pay for it. It's not an expensive uh, venture. Exactly. Yeah, I use a lot of paid photos too. And then I know there's some even some free sites out there. I have a resource list on my website with some free places that you can go to get free pictures. But typically I like the higher quality ones or the paid ones. That's right. The higher quality ones are the paid ones. Also you have to be very, very careful. Sometimes on the on the the picture sites they will say that they are uh, free stock photos, but they but they are really not free, and right. you can get in trouble by, by using those. So I make sure that I buy all mine, I pay for them, mm -hmm. so that I don't ever get myself in trouble. Right. <laughs> so if you want to write an article, you just click here, mm -hmm. and it takes you right in to where you can add. I can upload a picture, and so you have your picture saved somewhere in a picture file. So you just go into your pictures where your pictures are on your computer and go to the file that you want to upload pictures mm -hmm. from and then put that picture on there. So, you know, if, you're, if you want to choose, uh, um, I've been asked to be a speaker at eWomen, I've spoken there, so I that maybe I want to put a post up about them and my opportunity to speak with them and write a little blog, I can. Mm -hmm. And then, you type in your headline and then I write all my content in a Word document. Then I can go through it, edit it a whole bunch of times, and then I've got it also saved in a file if I need to refer to it or have it for some right. future use. Actually what I'm doing is I'm compiling all my blogs in a file so that I can then get my next book. My next book mm -hmm. is called uh, Fired Up at 60. So, ah, like <laughs> yeah. so watch for that. That'll be coming out soon. So, okay. and, and so with posts, if people are, you want to use both posts and articles, what type uh -huh. of posts are the best received? I know, you know, they're completely different on LinkedIn than like a post you would put on Facebook. You know, Facebook, you could put like, hey, what do you like better, LinkedIn or Twitter? But right. Things like that don't appear to go over so good on LinkedIn. So what are some of the best type of posts for LinkedIn? Well, the best type of posts for LinkedIn are, um, I use quotes. Every month I have quotes going out through all my platforms, a different quote on different ones. So you can go online and you can get all kinds of free quotes with pictures right. often attached. You, you can use programs like Canva to use your own pictures and then paste the quotes on there if you want. But they grab a lot of attention and they help build credibility. So I take one day a month and I just schedule on all my different business pages, mm -hmm. company pages, platforms, Facebook, Twitter, they're, they've got quotes going out with different themes. So each platform will have a different theme. One will be maybe on um, uh, motivation another one might be on inspiration another one will be on uh, love another one yeah. might be on uh, support uh, su uh, what's it? It starts with s supportive things things that are going to support people right. in way. and so each one has a different theme that way the same theme isn't going the same thing isn't going through all my platforms because the same people a lot of the same people are following me 
on all my different pages. So here's, here's some secrets I need to share with you. <laughs> when you have a company page on LinkedIn, if you follow your own company page, everything you post on your company page will automatically go through your home feed here. So if people are following you on your company page and also connected to you, they're going to get two, they're going to get duplications. What do you mean by your company page versus what, what do you mean by that? So on LinkedIn, just like Facebook, you have your profile page on Facebook and then you can set up business pages for free, right? Well, on LinkedIn, you can set up your profile page and then you can set up what they call company pages for free. Now, so it's a separate profile. So it's a separate profile page, but it's a business one. Yeah, it's attached to your personal profile. Okay. So, you, and you can set it up for free. So a lot of people don't understand that. That's really important because they'll set up a profile page uh, just like, They'll, they'll put their company logo here. They'll have a picture in the background of their, from their business. But then when you go down here, and then the name is their company name they've got there. Mm -hmm. And then they just talk about their business here in their headline. And then the summary just talks about the business. And then they've got their education, their experience. Right. And I'm going, oh, 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 oh. this is really confusing. And this goes directly against the terms of use for LinkedIn. And I received an email a few months ago, again, another email saying, warn all your followers, we are, we are clamping down on violations of the terms of use. Only a headshot goes here. Right. First and last name only goes here. No MBA, BA, CA, mm -hmm. all that, that. Those silent partners do not go there. That you're, those will show up and you can make them show up down here in your education. So right. if you go into education, you want to enter everything in here with your letters beside it. And that's where people will find out. If you keep putting your uh, MB, Christine Till MBA everywhere I go, it's like you're slapping people in the face. Look at me. Look at me. Right. I got this. You know, and people don't, they want to get to know you as a person first. And that's the whole premise behind LinkedIn. You have to build trust with your connections and they and because we're people and we're gregarious we have to trust the people that we're going to do business with before we can ever do business with them mm -hmm. so very yeah. yeah so go ahead what you're going to say well, i'm just saying i completely agree with you and i know i could talk to you forever you are just a wealth 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 of knowledge about <laughs> linkedin but i wanted to move forward here and ask you I, you know you've shared so much already but can you share a strategy that our listeners can implement in 15 minutes or less to grow okay. their business so one of my courses that i teach teaches you it's my uh, mm303 it's a webinar i run every month the third, fourth Thursday evening of the month. I have a two-hour session. And anybody can sign up for it. It's run through my Zoom conferencing system. And it teaches you how to bring all of your social media marketing together mm -hmm. and, and manage it on 15 to 30 minutes once or twice a day. So here's what you do. You go to your profile. You check who's viewed my profile. And you see all the profiles people that have viewed your profiles, the ones that you haven't responded to yet. You click on each one and say, hey, Nicholas, he's asked to connect with me. I'm going to connect with him, accept. And now this is going to ask me to respond. Sometimes I don't have time to respond right away, but I can, I can go in and respond to him. I can send him a message right away. Mm -hmm. And that's the best thing to do. Hey, thanks for connecting. And I will do that later. I'll send him that response later. Right. I won't take that valuable time right now. But, and some of them have just viewed your profile and they're already, they're not connected to you at all. They haven't sent you a connection request. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, so I will send them a response saying, in the subject line, I'd send them an in-mail. Now, you have to be on a paid platform if you're going to send in-mail through this system. Mm -hmm. If you are not on a paid platform, what you do is you get their name, 
and you go into, so we'll take Nicholas for instance, and we'll go into his profile, and you scroll down to the bottom of their profile and see what groups they are in. So if it says followers, that means that, that they are following them as individuals. But if it mm -hmm. says members, that means that they're a member of a group. And so you go and you say, okay, Global Coach Mentor Community. I'm not in that group. So you can click Ask to Join. And then you have to, your request has been submitted. So then you have mm -hmm. to wait for them to accept you. And then, and I have a little notebook where I write the names of these people down. And as soon as I get the, the acceptance into that group, you can go in because you have 15, one, five, 15, three emails that you can use every month. But you can only use them in the groups. Uh. So you want to join groups where the people are that would be your potential clients. So, mm -hmm. for instance, I use this example a lot. If you're in a health and wellness business, the instinct for everybody is to join all the health and wellness groups there are on LinkedIn. No, because everybody in those groups is looking for exactly the same person. Right. You are, right? So you want to find, okay, who, think of your clients. Who are your clients? Where are they coming from now? Mm -hmm. oh, they usually own businesses. They're under a lot of stress. Maybe they just had a baby. Um, if, you, if you're in health and wellness. So you want to maybe join some women's groups. Maybe you want to join some business owner groups, some uh, HR groups. HR managers are under huge stress. Maybe you want to join some financial planners groups. And so anything where you think they would have um, a lot of stress. Because mm -hmm. usually when people are looking for solutions and looking for health and wellness things, they're, they're under stress. They're looking for a massage. They're looking for all kinds of things. And mm -hmm. then, so if you're in a health and wellness group and you see a person who's viewed your profile and you see that they're with such and such a company and that company is a company that's maybe close to where you are and you maybe are a massage therapist. You can wait until you're accepted into that group and then you search through the members. So once you are a member of the group, when you go up here, this members will turn blue. I'm going to go into one of my groups here. My, the, the top groups will be all the groups that you either manage or are your own groups. My group is the marketing enthusiasts. So right now I've got seven pending. But you see when I hover over here, it turns blue. I can go in and search all the members. So I can find Joe Popperhuski that I've gotten written on my list, right? Mm -hmm. So find a member, type their name in here, and it'll bring them right up. And then you can send them a direct message. So I'm connected to all these people in my group, and you can go in. Or this one is it actually. Actually, I'm not connected to this person yet. Um, so I'm going to probably reach out and, and connect to her later on today right. and send a connection request. And when you, when you do send a connection request, always add a note. Hey, I noticed that you've, you're part of my um, marketing enthusiast group. Welcome to the group. I look forward to reading your material. Tell me, what question did you have in mind when you joined the group? Was there some question I can help answer at this moment? And so is, I, it, is it good for I people know. to start their own groups? Yes, it's very good because it, oh, oh, I could go on all day and talk about this. Um, okay. <laughs> you, when you have your own group once a week, you can pitch your stuff to your group. Right. So you can send them a pitchy thing. Oh, hey, come to my workshop. Uh, if you, if you, if you click by before Friday, you'll get the early bird. That's what I always do. I always have an early bird. If they, people sign up for my webinars before the first Friday of the month, they get the, the, the uh, early bird. And mm -hmm. I believe in a really big savings for an early bird. I see so many business owners get online and they'll say, Oh, I've got an early bird special 10% off. Oh, what we do. I give them a good 50% off. They get it at least half price or more off. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what you should be doing. You should offer people really good deals. And if they don't sign up by the first Friday and they don't care about getting the early bird, that's okay. They can pay full price if they want to. 
And I know Christine, you have a wonderful gift for our community. So can you share what it is? Well, the gift is I will give you totally complimentary 30 minutes of my time you're not under any obligation to buy anything from me but i'll give you 30 minutes to set up your own killer profile up close and personal the first time out so we can do it really you if if we can use zoom and if you need help we can share screens and i can follow you you can we can follow through each other i've coached people all over the world australia new zealand uh uh, Germany, Cyprus, Monaco, the UK, all across the United States and Canada. So to our listeners, uh, you definitely want to head on over to biz success in 15 forward slash C for Christine, T for Till. So biz success in 15.com forward slash CT and grab your complimentary 30 minute session. Uh, so Christine can help you set up your own killer profile up close and personal the first time out. Uh, because this way you'll have an awesome a profile that stands out, which is really going to increase your presence on LinkedIn. So Christine, do you have any parting words for our listeners? Yes, and this is huge. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get on LinkedIn every day. You can't just do it once a month or once a week. Mm -hmm. If you only have a post going out once a month or once a week, you will never be seen on there because those feeds are moving constantly. And so if you post something at 8 o'clock in the morning, for instance, Somebody who doesn't check their feeds until 4 o'clock in the afternoon will never see your post because they only scroll down 10 or 12 posts at the most usually. That's the average. Right. So make sure that you have at least one post today going out on your LinkedIn. It should be one to three posts a day. I, I usually work up to five posts a day if I can. And that mm -hmm. happens over time because you repurpose all of your blogs so right. when I blog today today is the first of august publish it then i will publish, send it out to schedule in a in a auto posting program mm -hmm. platform i use sprout social it's the best one out there i've tried a few of them and sprout social to me is the best you it, you can schedule it to go out on the first of August, which then becomes a Wednesday, different day of the week. So you're reaching a different audience who check their media, social media at a different time. Then you check a different time of day. So the times that you post are, according to statistics, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. And then and when what you get time zone? Um, any time zone. <laughs> I just, my time zone, any time zone. So the people... People are reading all my stuff from India, so they're obviously getting my posts. Right. I'm a lot of responses from people in, in, across the other side of the world and Australia and those places, mm -hmm. even though they're eight to 16 hours difference. Mm -hmm. And Christine, I do want to thank you very much for being my guest today. It's truly been a pleasure, very informative. Um, if you want to you go ahead and stop sharing your screen. And uh, to our listeners, uh, if you enjoyed today's show, feel free to share it with your friends. You'll want to be sure to hop on over to bizsuccessin15.com forward slash CT, where you'll find all the links from today's show. Uh, you'll be able to download the show, re-listen to it, especially she provided so much information. And by sharing her screen, you'll want to re-watch it so you can know uh, how to navigate it a little bit better and where to go to find different things. Be sure to grab Christine's offer of a complimentary 30-minute session so she can help you set up your own profile. Uh, whenever you visit Bit Success in 152, you might want to catch up on past episodes that you might have missed. So with that, big hugs, and be sure to tune in next week to another episode of Bit Success in 15. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. 
You've been listening to Biz Success in 15. For all links mentioned in today's show and to watch or listen to previous episodes, visit bizsuccessin15.com. Thanks so much for listening and be sure to tune in next week for another amazing guest. Mm-hmm.